Romans chapter 8. This is right past Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, the book of Acts, and then Romans. This is the Apostle Paul writing to the Christians who are in Rome. In Rome. And starting in verse 20 of chapter 8, Paul says this, Against its will, all creation was subjected to God's curse. What curse is he talking about? In Genesis, after man and woman sinned, God cursed the ground and said, you're going to have to work hard. You're going to have to work hard. There's going to be weeds. There's a curse because you have cut yourself off of me. And my friend, it's real simple when you cut yourself off of the source of life. It's the problem. If you strangle yourself and cut yourself off the source of oxygen, it's a problem. When you cut yourself off of the source of life, it's a problem. But with eager hope, verse 21, the creation looks forward to the day when it will join God's children in glorious freedom from death and decay. For we know that all creation has been groaning as in the pains of childbirth right up to the present time. Groans of childbirth. If you have given birth to a child, and I have not, I want to be clear. If you have stood next to someone who is giving birth, even with all the wonders of modern medicine, it is incredibly painful. It is not a pleasant trip. And all of creation is groaning as in the pains of childbirth. Why? Because we live in a world that is messed up because of sin. This isn't about God smiting them going, gotcha, as in the old Far Side cartoon. I love this cartoon. It's got God in the computer, God's computer. On the screen, he's got a little dude walking down the street, and above him is a piano suspended by rope, and God's finger is over the smite button. <laughs> This is not why this happened. We live in a world that's messed up. We've messed it up even worse because God told us in the beginning, take care of the earth, and we've destroyed it. Now, I'm not a raging environmentalist, okay? I'm not on a raging environmentalist trip, trip, but I think all of us, if we're honest, can say, honestly, we've jacked up the world just a little bit. We don't stuff in it that shouldn't have been dumped there. The world is revolving in a revolt naturally because sin happens. Stuff that's messed up happens in this world. The disciples uh, were real big on this. I love this story. If you have your Bible, again, just keep going back over. We're going to go back, actually, just a couple books to the book of John.